Hello guys and welcome to this puppet wrap tutorial. Here you see an example of what you can achieve with puppet wrap in After Effects. Here I am cropping myself. There's three image. I am the first one is me flying and the second one is punching and the third one is background. It's better to have your background separated on the separate photos so you don't have to crop your subject pixel perfect and you have some additional background image to spare when you bend or warp using a puppet warp tool here as you can see I am finishing cropping and these two pictures of mine with the background is already separated. Here I am adding a little bit more detail like shadow and other stuff and also I am aligning different photos so each of them is aligned perfectly and not appear jumping or actually this is just a minor problem you don't have to do that after you crop your subject but I like perfect here I am drawing the shadow back to make sure that uh, I'm feeling actually you are feeling like I'm there but it's actually already cropped So adjusting a few different color and all that stuff. Just save your file as PSD and just drop your PSD into your After Effects and accept as composition with editable layers and start using Puppet Wrap. Here I am placing the pin on the part that you think it should move like your elbow and your arm and your leg or and your body anything that you think that part should be moving and not moving just place the pin there also if you don't have a picture that have a background separated I will be talking about that later here I am animating the puppet wrap. I hope you already familiar with keyframe and all that stuff. Uh, actually, only keyframes. So I don't have to explain to you guys what is keyframe, what is puppet wrap, what is this tool do, and other stuff, basic stuff. Because you can search them online, and a lot of people already covered it section of basic you can search basic tool for after effect basic tutorial for after effect and i think there will be a lot of people that can explain to you better than i am so let's talk a bit more of what's going on here i am placing uh, position and rotation to animate my body uh, if feels like I'm blown by the force of the punch and checking the animation I think it looks good and here in case you want to know how I made the circle I'm creating a square solid and adding round mask and then duplicate the mask change to subtract and play with the expansion and the feather you can get a nice glow an orb like shockwave so this is a new method for my tutorial I am adding a voice under my video I am record the video before and adding the voice after and I find this very difficult to match the pace of the video because the video is three times faster than the real time I think if I make uh, real time it will take around 30 minutes or maybe an hour so I am making this tutorial under 
15 minutes I think it's 12 minutes because I don't want to get you guys bored so just adjusting the final check and placing the position and the scale animate the circle and you're done at this point I just realized that the pixel under my feet is moving so I'm using a puppet wrap pin to uh, lock the pixel around my foot so it won't move when I'm bent my ankle so here are the example if you don't have your background separated here I have my friend posing uh, somewhat random thing that I think it might be interested if I animated it so the first thing you do is the same you crop the image and checking and I'm cropping the second person image and skipping the leg because I know the leg will not move so checking it's separated so in uh, Photoshop CS5 I think there's a feature called fill you basically choose the mask around your subject and press fill and it helps to make your background more like invisible it's not perfect but it helps to hide so here how you plan your animation I draw that this arm will move down and this arm will move up this leg will move up and this whole body will move backwards so same process fill it is not perfect but helps save your file as PSD and click OK and then just directly drop your PSD into your After Effect composition and then choose editable layers make sure to check composition if you do that correctly you have all the layers with all different stuff you do on to from your PSD it is the same process just pin your puppet wrap there and pin on there and just like I mentioned before just place the pin where you want to move and as you can see puppet wrap can distort almost any picture you want if you crop it properly and let's animate go to the puppet mesh and deform and as you can see there's a lot of keyframe we um, representing each pin I hope you know how to animate in After Effects if not just move your pin and After Effects is automatically adding keyframes and so move there and I already made a couple of keyframes at the back let's see I am moving the keyframe to the end time where you can set how much or how long the duration of your animation will be I'm placing it 4 seconds I think it's a little slow but yeah I just want to give you an example of the super slow-mo effect using a puppet trap so checking the pin moving and correcting the animation and let's see we have a pretty good animation here and if you have a keyframe at the back of your at the end of your time and if you move the keyframe at the beginning of the time it's automatically have animation the after effect will calculate that so the same process I'm gonna use on the second person just place the pin at, at the middle and at the head oops as you can see if you don't want some parts not to move just place the pin and animate 
the same method using mesh sorry if I don't give you a really detailed explanation in this video I just want to give you an idea I hope you can learn more details on other video which they can explain you better and more details so I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in the next video thank you